But hey, I'm 50 and I've got 90% of my net worth tied up in this liquid thing known as my company. Well, that equals 140. That's over the 130 mark. And chances are you're assuming too much personal risk by not diversifying your own net worth and selling your company, at least selling you know some type of stake in that company so that you're cashing out your chips, you're paying some taxes, you're reinvesting the money, and you're diversifying you know, against uh, uh, an uncertain you know, future, I'll call it. And entrepreneurs tend to do a couple of things. When we're young, we're aggressive and we aggressively build our businesses. We get to be my age, you know, and all of a sudden it's like we start making bad business decisions because subconsciously we know that one day we're going to retire. We got a lot of money tied up in our business and we don't want to screw it up. And so because we don't want to screw it up, we get to about 50 and we start making bad business decisions. We start getting conservative and we're no longer really growing our businesses. We're, 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 we're running a prevent defense, trying not to lose our business. And so I even find that if I, if I, I sell a portion or even a controlling stake to a PE firm, I become a minority shareholder. I keep running the business, but now I'm using somebody else's money. I can get aggressive again. I've got asset diversification. And so, you know, I think that that's also something that, that we need to uh, to think about when we're entrepreneurs. I love that. So the rule of one third, 